Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will show you the preparation method of potash alum. Means, how we will prepare potash alum in lab. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link of the video is given in the description box. First of all, let's know what is the principle of preparation of potash alum. So, we can prepare potash alum in the crystal form from a mixture of concentrated solution containing equimolar amount of potassium sulphate and aluminum sulphate and when this hot concentrated solution of an equimolar mixture of potassium sulphate and hydrated aluminum sulphate containing a little of sulfuric acid is allowed to cool then potash alum separate out as a colorless crystal. So this is the principle of preparation of potash alum. The crystal of potash alum is octahedral in shape and it is commonly known as fitkiri. Here you can see the formula of potash alum. So here the potash alum is an example of double salt. Double salt of monovalent and a trivalent metal. Here the monovalent metal is potassium and the trivalent metal is aluminium. And what is double salt? Double salt is made up of two single salt which crystallizes as a single substance but when we dissolve in water it ionizes into two distinct salt. Here you can see the reaction which is involved in the preparation of potash alum. Potash alum is used in the purification of water and alum is also regarded as an antiseptic and it is used externally for its astringent property. Astringent property means Alum has protein precipitating property means it is used or you can say applied to stop the bleeding in the case of minor cut means alum have hemostatic property. Now let's know what are the ingredients which are required for the preparation of potash alum. So here first ingredient is aluminium sulphate. Next is potassium sulphate. And third is dilute H2SO4 and distilled water is also required to make the solution. So first of all here we have weighed 1.1 gram of potassium sulphate and then transferred it into the clean and dry beaker. And after this add 10 ml of distilled water. Here we have already measured 10 ml of distilled water in the measuring cylinder. And then transfer this 10 ml of distilled water into a beaker containing 1.1 gram of potassium sulphate. Then after transferring distilled water in the beaker, then with the help of glass rod, stir it properly to completely dissolve the potassium sulphate in distilled water. And also to dissolve it completely, gently warm the content of the beaker in order to dissolve the potassium sulphate completely. Stir with the help of glass rod to dissolve the potassium sulphate in water. Now here you can see the potassium sulphate is completely get dissolved in distilled water. Now remove this solution from the hot plate. Next we have to prepare the solution of aluminium sulphate. So to prepare solution of aluminium sulphate, here we have taken 6.3 gram of aluminium sulphate and then again transfer it into a clean and dry beaker. And then measure and transfer 45 ml of distilled water into the beaker containing aluminium sulphate. After transferring 45 ml of distilled water in the aluminium sulphate, then dissolve the aluminium sulphate in water by stirring it with the help of glass rod. You can also use warm distilled water to easily dissolve the aluminium sulphate in water. And after dissolving the aluminium sulphate completely in distilled water, then add 3 ml of dilute H2SO4. Or you can warm the beaker to dissolve the aluminium sulphate completely. And after the complete dissolution of aluminium sulphate in distilled water, we get clear solution. Here we have added dilute H2SO4 to the aluminium sulphate solution to prevent the hydrolysis of aluminium sulphate in water. And after dissolving the aluminium sulphate in distilled water, if the solution is not clear, then you can filter the solution to get clear solution of aluminium sulphate. After this, mix the hot solution of aluminium sulphate and potassium sulphate in china dish. Here we have first transferred the hot solution of aluminium sulphate in a clean and dry china dish and then add solution of potassium sulphate which we have prepared earlier in the same china dish containing aluminium sulphate solution and then mix both the solution of aluminium sulphate and potassium sulphate in the china dish 
with the help of glass rod and after mixing the solution then place the china dish containing solution mixture in the hot plate or you can use wire gauge over a burner here we have used hot plate to heat the solution it means to boil the solution we have to boil the solution mixture on the hot plate to concentrate and to reduce the volume to half the original volume stir the solution with the help of glass rod frequently while heating to prevent the formation of crust on the wall of china dish during heating it means we have to heat the solution till the crystallization point is reached here you can see the solution volume is reduced to half the original volume now remove the hot solution hot concentrated solution from the hot plate and then transfer it into the clean and dry beaker after transferring this hot concentrated solution in clean and dry beaker and after transferring this hot concentrated solution mixture in clean and dry beaker then transfer this solution in cold water bath and keep this content of the beaker in the cold water bath as it is for few hours for crystallization means do not disturb the content of beaker during this time means during the crystallization process and after few hours here next day we have observed the content of beaker here you can see that the crystal of potassium get separated out from the liquid Here you can see the single large size crystal of potassium is formed here in the beaker filter it out from the mother liquor and wash them with the small quantity of cool water dry the crystal with the help of filter paper and then here we have transferred this crystal into the watch glass here you can clearly see how the crystal of potassium is prepared with a proper shape and this is how we can prepare potassium in the lab thank you very much for watching this video